Hello again and welcome to LPLabs.com. We're starting a new video series which we're going to release every fortnight because that's the iteration length of our sprints. And what we're going to do is at the end of those two weeks we're going to do these very short videos just to let you know what's updated on the website. Let's start the first one. We'll start with commenting on tips and articles. So as you can see here we're on the France destination page and you'll find tips and articles just down here and these are tips and articles relevant to this destination so if we just go into a guide to the Tour de France and scroll down this is a very simple thing but but we <laughs> you know we're getting there you can now comment on uh, this post uh, so what I can say is totally love the bike race hit submit comment and it will appear pretty much immediately which is quite cool there it is there's my comment uh, now from a moderation point of view you can hit report comment and that takes you off to a page so you can tell us exactly why you think it shouldn't be there of course it does rather depend on you being logged into your profile and that's the next thing I'm going to show you we've, we've done some updates to the profile so here's my profile on lonelyplanet.com and what we've added is the ability for you to do some editing within your biography and, and add images which is something people have been asking for a while and we've done that using textile markup tags and now if you happen to know what those tags are it's it's fairly straightforward um, you just put in the tag and you put in the image URL and, and away to go but actually if you don't know how to do that then it's very easy you just click on textile markup tags and you just type exactly what a simple example if you want to put an image in you just have a look here on the left hand side for um, the code that you're going to need. So okay, so these images, so it's just exclamation mark image URL exclamation mark. So let's add that code, put in the URL of an image, and um, textile to XHTML. Great, that gives me what I want. Although what I can also do is I can just copy this, and I can go back to my profile page, paste it in, hit save and there's the image embedded in my biography and you can see here there's the there's the bolt so it's fairly straightforward to make that work again the other thing that we've done is we've made within groups so I'm in the motorbikes in Melbourne group very easy to get to just go to community go into groups navigate to a group well we've done some very simple things with groups over the last fortnight the most important thing is we've made links work so if you type in a link now, we automatically recognize it, a link, and allow you to click it and go through to that page. What we've also done is tidied up some of the formatting so that we're re respecting carriage returns and, and making things display a little bit better. And finally, this week, we have launched a new map shells page. It doesn't mean very much, but basically these are, these are pages that store the maps that we have within our guidebooks on the website. They get an awful lot of traffic and are very popular. But obviously what we wanted to do was highlight that as well as the maps you get within the book, we've also now got the interactive maps. So you can click on the destination page, it'll launch with the interactive map, the Google map already open, which is quite cool. And we've also tried to highlight um, some other content that people may find useful across the site. So there we go, some simple updates for this iteration. But really that's what they are, iterations, and we're building functions out slowly but surely. If you've got any suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.